When most people think of a vacation to Hawaii, they envision the popular beaches of Waikiki, located in Honolulu on the island of Oahu. When most of us think of Hawaii, we think of lounging in the sun on beaches like Waikiki, located in the midst of the hustle and bustle of downtown Honolulu, which is bursting full of tourists and visitors from around the world. But there's nothing like an adventure off the beaten path. So we headed to one of Oahu's more remote areas and legendary surf destination, the North Shore. After picking up a hybrid from the Hertz Green Traveler collection, we hit the highway for a visit to Surf Into Yoga, a remote eco-yoga retreat dedicated to offering its guests the best of land and sea. Along the way, we took in the awe-inspiring views. After landing at the retreat, we met with founder Rochelle Ballard, a professional surfer and yoga instructor, who started us off with some yoga to get us ready for a strenuous day of surfing. Uh... Open up into that nice. Then it was time to hit the beach. Since we'd never surfed before, Rochelle showed us proper form on the board, including the best way to paddle out to the waves and how to stand up in the water. And your chi is in your waistline. Your ankles is where your solidarity is, as well as your movement. Come up into your cobra. Yep, and then come up with your front foot forward, and then back foot and your stance, and inhale and come up. On land, I felt like I got it. But out on the water, a bit of a different story. With help from the assistant teacher, Anna, I paddled, paddled, and paddled, trying to catch a wave. Oops, missed one. And finally, I caught a wave. The little one. Michael, of course, was a natural. He got up the first time out, just like a fish in water. Back at the ranch, Rochelle, who is also a certified massage therapist, treated us to customized body work. In the meantime, Anna picked fresh vegetables from their garden and started preparing dinner. The leaves are edible, and you can saute them, put them in eggs. This plant right here grows wild, called amaranth. It was the Mayan superfood, and this one we're gonna pick, because we're gonna put in our curry today. So, it just pull it, because it's, it's mostly considered a weed, but it's actually one of the most protein-filled weeds, or medicinal herbs that you can eat. It's our bouquet of the day Sweet. for our food. <laughs> After a quick dip in the jacuzzi, it was time to eat. Thank goodness, because after all that, I was famished. 